Hey guys, what is up? This is Phil from iPodTouchBala.com. Thank you guys for checking out this video. So, uh, before I get started, I do have a little announcement to make, and that is that um, my iPhone is uh, broken. If you follow me on Twitter, you already know this because I tweeted about it a few minutes ago or about an hour ago. My iPhone was dropped in water which means no exchanges or anything like that. I already knew that though. That's what happened to my first generation iPod Touch. It was dropped in water. Um, so, you know, there's not much I can do. I have been looking on Craigslist though. Hopefully I can get one fairly soon from Craigslist or eBay or something. Let's keep our fingers crossed on that. In the meantime, I'm using uh, this. And <laughs> this is a, a AT&T slash Samsung Sync. And uh, if you know anything about iPhones in general, you know this is a pretty big difference from that. So I'm not used to this at all. I don't like it at all. So yeah, I can't wait till I get an iPhone back. Anyway, uh, today I'm gonna have something for on my iPod Touch. Now something I had noticed on my iPod Touch, and I'm gonna open this for uh, illustration purposes. Uh, when I open up iPhone Box, which is what I use to SSH, uh, it is SSHing via USB. Um, what it would do is it would think that my iPhone iPod was not jailbroken. Number one, I could not SSH from a Wi-Fi SSHing client because uh, it didn't think it was jailbroken. And also, this one would say like, um, your iPhone is not jailbroken. Uh, jailbreak it to um, get more accessibility. And when I open up iPod Touch, I'd only have like three of these things in here and I, I couldn't get to like my themes folder or anything. So in this video I'm going to show you the fix that I found for it. It's Insidia. Um, I didn't put it there. I just found it like early today. I'm like, huh, that's useful. So I already have it installed. That's why it showed the full file system. So let's go ahead and get in on the, to this uh, video. What you want to do, go ahead and open up Cydia. As you see mine's already up here. And what you want to do is you want to go ahead and you want to search, and you want to search for you want to search this, these letters S S H S, like so. One thing will come up called SSH services, and it's from the Mac City repository. What this does is it replaces that file that was unreadable by your by your SSH client. So it doesn't reinstall the whole directory, but it reinstalls the single file that. The, that it, the, your SSH client would read to tell whether it was jailbroken or not. So this will give you full access to your root directory. All right. So what you want to go ahead and do is, is install it. Mine's already installed, but I will reinstall it for you guys because you guys are that important. And confirm. Now, as it, while this is going, I'll do like an update number two. I'm sorry for it being like three weeks since my last video. Let me go ahead and open up my YouTube page and show you three weeks. Um, there it is. Three weeks ago, this is my last video. I had another video shot. It was the last video in which my iPhone, that beast, was in commission. I have it sitting on my camera. I could not upload it prior to this. YouTube is being really retarded lately was unable to um, upload anything so I'm gonna try using the bulk uploader and see if that works for this video and if it does then I'll upload that one as well it was a little tweak now what you're gonna do after that go ahead and hit return to Cydia and go ahead and exit out of Cydia if you'd like now restart your device by holding the power button getting like slider or tap or whatever you get and uh, shutting down slash turning off your device power it off and you'll get that little spinny wheel that uh, a lot of people get irritated by myself included I don't get irritated by it itself but what it represents and it takes way too long especially when I get it randomly like I'm gonna ask you guys uh, do you get irritated by it when like your springboard randomly like crashes I don't know if that's just me that gets random crashes of your springboard on the iPhones mainly but that just irritates me after it's off, turn it back on. And just wait for that. As 
Let's wait for it. If you're wondering why I'm not in a case, because I, I do get comments on some of my videos when my phones are not, phone or iPod is not in a case, tell like basically fussing at me, saying that I'm not in a case. I have one for this. It's right here. I just took it off like two days ago and never put it back on. All right, so now that it's back on, now what you would do is you would go on your computer back to your SSH and client. Like I've already said, mine of choice is right there, iFun Box for SSHing via USB. And you should have your full directories and everything's back. So yeah, that should work for you guys. All right, so this has just been a quick video. This is Phil from iPodTouchBaller.com. Make sure to comment, rate, subscribe for more videos. I do have a lot more coming. All right, I'll see you guys later. Hopefully I'll have a new iPod, iPhone by my next video. Not quite sure yet though. So uh, yeah, whatever. Peace.